For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn. And for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on challenging duty. Join us for a moment to give thanks for our magnificent cosmos. With radiant stars in the night sky, blessing our splendid little planet with their brilliance from afar. We are like a tiny speck encompassed by the creativeness of the universe, surrounded by billions of glorious galaxies, all interwoven together by the thread of universal love, may we always rejoice and be forever grateful for our place in the cosmos. Welcome to our friends from around our beautiful planet. I'm Carol. The greatest treasure of all, the Kingdom of God, can be found within us. With the guidance and protection of a fully enlightened master, we can experience its glory anytime. The spectacular Falkland Islands is so delighted that you aspire to reach this lofty goal. May the divine always support you. Namaskar. That's how the people of Lakshadweep would greet you with hello in the Malayalam language. I am Amit. The illusionary world that we live in lures us into believing that earthly possessions are what make us. But the wise such as yourselves know that the true treasures are revealed when we go inward to contemplate on our higher self. The friendly inhabitants of Lakshadweep hope you will always connect with the heavens and enjoy the celestial riches. Welcome to Noteworthy News, brightening news for a precious world. Brightening news for a beautiful world. Supreme Master Television brings you good news from around our beautiful planet, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our programs can be viewed online at suprememastertv.com as well as on YouTube and iOS or Android apps. For full channel listings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. New Supreme Master Television outlets. We are delighted to announce Supreme Master Television is from now available throughout Bangladesh on Jago BD TV, on podcast on audible.com, and now in Arabic on Facebook. Supreme Master Television is available all around the globe, broadcasting on worldwide satellite, across Canada, Mexico, and the United States, on Galaxy 19 KU band at 97.0 degrees west, across Australia and New Zealand, on Optus D2 KU band at 152 degrees east, across South and Southeast Asia on ABS2 Southern Beam KU band at 75.0 degrees east, across North Africa and the Middle East on Yoto set 7W Mina Beam KU band at 7.0 degrees west or now set position, across East Asia on Epstar 7 KU band at 76.5 degrees east, across Russia and surrounding areas on Yamal 401 KU band at 90 degrees east, across the Middle East on Yasat 1 East Beam KU band at 52.5 degrees east, in Sub-Saharan Africa and Europe on Intelsat 20KU band at 68.5 degrees east, in Central and South Americas, as well as Mexico on Hispasat 30W-6KU band at 30 degrees west, 
in Canada, Joy TV on TELUS Satellite TV in Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, Buryatia, Russia, and throughout Mongolia on Didish Satellite TV on Channel 211. Also, in Canada, Bell TV Canada, as well as locally on numerous cable and IPTV networks. Please search by postcode at joytv.ca forward slash channel dash finder for full channel listings. And Faith TV, please search by postcode at faithtelevision.ca for your local channel listings. Plus, in Mongolia, Erdenet City, Dahan, and Ulaanbaatar on Univision Cable TV. And throughout Lebanon on Channel 111 on Cablevision. For full frequency information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash satellite. Additionally, Supreme Master Television is available on media streaming television services worldwide in more than 232 countries, territories, and regions via Apple TV, LG Smart TVs, and Roku Streaming TV in 111 countries on Amazon Fire TV, in 144 countries via Android-based TV systems, in 198 countries on Samsung Smart TVs on shortwave radio in sub-Saharan Africa, Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East on 15770 kHz, in South and Central Americas on 5800 kHz, in Central and Eastern United States, plus Canada, Bermuda, Greenland, and Iceland on 9395 kHz, in the Western United States, Western Canada, and Mexico on 5950 kHz, and in Central, South, Southeast, and Western Asia on 7570 kHz, and on podcast on Google Podcasts, iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, and more. Supreme Master Television is also available in Argentina, in Juana Coslay City, La Punta City, and San Luis City on channel 539 on San Luis Cable TV, in Belize, in Belize City, Belmopan, Benque, and Cayo District, channel 239, all frequency 291 MHz on Central TV and Internet, in Punta Gorda and Stan Creek District, channel 224 on Southern Cable, and throughout Belize on OmniStream C via Southern Cable, in Cambodia, Laos, and Thailand on Malimar TV Network, in Cameroon, in Bamenda, Weya, Douala, Kribi, Kumba, Limbe, Tico, and Yaoundé on Southwest Communication. In Chile, in Puente Alto, Santiago, channel frequency 58.1 on Intercouplet. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, in Kinshasa, on PSTV. In the Republic of the Congo and Central Africa, on DRTV, channel 332 on Canal Plus. In Point Noir, Republic of the Congo, on channel 25 of frequency 503.31 MHz, on local TV. In El Salvador, on DC IPTV. And in San Miguel and Usulatan, on Cablesat. In Guatemala, in Guatemala City, channel 69 on Cable Minerva and Electronica Chilena, in Barbarena and Zaragoza, Channel 58 on Cable Minerva, and in Esquipulas, Channel 110 on Cable Facile Digital, in Guayana on Airlink Communications, in India on Airtel, DD Direct, Dish TV, Reliance and Tata Sky on Satna TV, as well as Geo and O Cable Networks, throughout the Middle East and Greece on SAP TV, in Nepal and India, Clear TV, Dish Home, Miro TV, Sim TV, and Sky TV on Bhakti Dashan TV. In New Zealand, on Mainland Television. In Nicaragua, on Nika TV. In Panama, on Latin Play TV. In Peru, in Ancash, on DKR. In Huancayo, on Cable Red. In Lima, Cable Vision, Cable Peru, Super Cable, Servi Cable, and Cable Lacer on Asiri TV. And in Puno, on Television Universitaria Cable TV. In Taiwan, also known as Formosa, on Fine TV. In Changhua, on Sanda Cable TV. In Kaohsiung, on Phoenix Cable TV, in Jilong on Prosperity Cable TV, in Pindong on Guangshan Digital CA TV and Pingnan CA TV, in Tainan on Nantian Cable TV, in Taoyuan on North Taoyuan Cable TV, in Taipei on Cable Giant, Qin Pindao, Zhuanlian, Da An Wenshan, Qin Taipei, Qin Tangcheng, and Yang Mingshan Cable TV, and in Ilan, Channel 4 on Union Cable TV, in Trinidad and Tobago on Airlink Communications, in the United Kingdom on Connected Freeview, Freesat and Sky on Showcase TV and EE TV Box via Vision TV in the United States on Public Access TV in California on Midpen Media Center BC MTV KMBT KOCT CMAP TV Access Sacramento Comcast SF Comments Korea TV KSAR and Pasadena Media in New York on Brick TV MNN PA TV Long Island QP TV and White Plains PA TV in Washington DC on DC TV we have multiple more channels which are not announced here due to lack of space and time. Please log on for your choices or and areas, as we might also have more new channels anytime.
for full channel listings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Manan trujgut alten hiler gartak. Sashla khayib suprememastertv.com trujgut schedule. Also, be sure to follow us on our socials. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Reddit, TikTok, Tumblr, and Twitter in multiple languages by searching Supreme Master TV. In today's news, China provides relief aid to Palestinian people. European study shows importance of pollution reduction. Large rooftop farm produces fresh vegetables in Canada. New discovery propels research to end malaria. Indian architect designs affordable cardboard beds to assist pandemic management. Online data supports growing interest in veganism globally. And Great Dane saves family from fire in United States. All this and more on Supreme Master Television, your constructive global TV channel. On Monday, October 26, 2020, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai took precious time away from her intensive meditation retreat to speak with Supreme Master television team members. During the conference, continued concern about the COVID-19 pandemic was expressed and Master suggested some alternative, longer-term solutions to help society cope during these uncertain times. Actually, if the people adhere to their, their rights, you know, like if you go out, I advise you, you wear face shield, okay? okay? Yes. Yes. You wear a mask, yes? Yes. Or you wear the Google and mask and face shield, and then the hat, you know, and, and wear the, the overall clothes that shield you all over, you know? Yes. Yes. Shield, shield as much as you can, don't touch your face before you wash your hands at home, and after you're home, you clean and wash the clothes, and people can go out, can continue working. They don't really have to be locked down. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Because lockdown is depressing for everybody. Yes. yes. For the children, why don't they just uh, make new clothes, like the the clothes for the astronauts, or the clothes that the nurses and the doctors wear in uh, intensive infectious uh, operations? Yes, yes. yes ma'am. Yes. They wear like a hood. Yes. yes. With the transparent. Uh, material in the front, like glass or plastic, see too. Yes. But everything else, the head and the shoulder are all covered. They wear the cover clothes, yeah, and they wear their uh, surgical hand, hand gloves. Yes. Yes. And they wear uh, socks and shoes underneath. Yes. 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 Then they could go out and work anywhere. And wear that for the children also, so they can go to school. They have to develop some more dress codes for the people so that they can go out and live their lives. So it doesn't have to always be in lockdown completely like that. But only if people really adhere to the you know, regulation and the principle of protection for selves and others, that is the only problem, because some people do not adhere to it. And that's why the government probably has to lock them down, all of them, because they would not know who will come out with or without the mask, or with or without all that um, comprehensive protection. That's why. So it's actually also people's responsibility. It's not only the government to be blamed. So you see, the consciousness of people is very, very coarse still. Some of them are still very coarse, going out, protesting even just to wear a mask. My goodness, why do they do that? The doctors in the hospital and the nurses, some of them wear a mask for many hours. If they have a long operation, they wear it like forever. And the dentists, they wear it all the time because they have to work with the gloves and the mask to treat the patients. I don't know why people are so unreasonable, really. This I have to say. I like it in Ethiopia. If you don't wear a mask in the public, you will be jailed for two years and maybe fine also. We need such a strong leader like that for anything that is good for humanity. Maybe other countries should follow suit just to protect the innocents, the ones who abide by the law, the ones who protect themselves and to protect others. 
So if they're protected themselves, you know, the way I said it, then you could just go out and enjoy your life. Then the government doesn't have to worry about you. Then the government will not have to implement the lockdown uh, rules, which are very, very bad for many people. Because people cannot be locked up forever. They feel very suffocated, frustrated, depressed. Yes, yes Master. And that will also kill some of them mm. if they cannot cope with their depression. Yes. And the children also, they have to go out and interact with each other and learn more of what they have to learn. Yes. And also interacting with their bodies. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, they feel very suffocated. And also at home, if the, all the family is being together too long, there might be also the pressure in the house. Step on each other's foot and feeling uh, lack of space. Yeah? Yes, yes. And they could also fight. There are many psychological effects, mental effects on the people when they are locked out too long. Okay, huh? Yes. So yes. locking down is not the best answer. It's a temporary best answer, but not the best answer in the long run. Yes. Yes. The government have to order people or the company or the manufacturer to make new kind of clothes, okay? Yes, we understand. It's something so that people can go out, live their life, walk in the park, walk in their dogs, walking with their children, playing with their children in the field, going to work, earn their living if they want to or work. Now, even if they work at home, but now and then they still need to go in the office because there are many things. You cannot just talk by phone. Yes, yes, yes. Master. Uh, in the long run, locking down is terribly damaging to the country's economy, to the world economy as well, not just people's uh, mental health or psychological wellness. So long-term lockdown is a no-no. Normally, you have to wear clothes to go out anyway, to cover yourself. And then just uh, an extra hat or the face cover or face shield. What's wrong with that? And I think everybody has the duty to do that, to cooperate with the government, to protect yourself and others. There is no excuse whatsoever. I think all the government should apply the strict law like in Ethiopia to protect the innocents, the children, the weak women, the weak persons, the elderly who are more vulnerable than the rest. Because people who don't wear protective gear, they might get infected and then cost a lot of money for the government and the society and cause a lot of pain and suffering for their relatives and friends and family members as well. So they are no good. They can be classified as criminal. I mean it. The number of confirmed COVID-19 cases throughout the world has surpassed 40 million, but experts say that is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the true impact of the pandemic. COVID-19 global cases, official. 45.1 million cases, unofficial, 780 million cases, or 10% of the world population. Global deaths, official, 1.2 million deaths, unofficial, 3.9 million to 7.8 million deaths. Master also mentioned the great sacrifice many masters make and the risk they take when coming down to this physical world of unimaginable heavy karma to help beings here during this period. If there is no true master power at this time, all these Buddha, Bodhisattva will be locked forever. Oh. I mean, not forever, but many, many beings. Okay? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Even for sharing the karma of other beings on this planet at this time. Just sharing and helping only, you would be locked forever even like that. Wow. Imagine. I tell you a secret. I also have to lend a hand. I mean, using almighty power, master power to save some of the so-called masters. In our, in our time. Wow. Otherwise, their disciple karma, their other world karma would drown them in, in hell. Sorry. Yes, 
Yeah. I don't want to tell who is who. Yes, yes. But that's the, the truth. I have never told you. Just by the way, I tell you, just to let you know, lucky are the ones who escaped this time. Really fortunate. Extraordinarily fortunate. Superbly. Super, super fortunate. Yes, Master. Don't take everything for granted. Yes, yes Master. Yes, Meditate well, pray all the time. Be grateful all the time for your blessings. Our deep gratitude, most compassionate Master, for your unwavering love and care, spending every moment working to save all beings and giving urgent and uplifting reminders despite your extraordinarily demanding schedule to help us continue to grow spiritually and as a human race. May the mighty gods of the highest heavens forever shield and support Master to live in peace, good health and joy in the immense love of the Divine. For the full broadcast of this conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date. China supports food relief programs in Gaza. The Chinese government, a Shining World Leadership Award for Wise Governance recipient and a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, Wildlife Protection and Compassionate Protection Laureate, has donated one million US dollars toward the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East's UNRWA's food program for Gaza. The funds will be used to implement door-to-door -door food distribution to promote safety and health during the COVID-19 pandemic. Pandemic. This is the third time since 2018 that China has contributed to UNRWA's food program, demonstrating the government's steadfast commitment to mitigating food insecurity amongst refugees in Gaza. Our gratefulness, China. May the spiritual Palestinian people always stay in the gentle loving protection of the divine. Report highlights the effect of environmental pollution on human lives. A report by the Denmark-headquartered European Environment Agency, EEA, revealed that 13% of 400,000 lives lost in Europe each year were linked to environmental pollution. Low-income people were more affected due to their homes, schools and workplaces often being located in areas with busy traffic. European Commissioner for the Environment, His Excellency Virginijus Sinkovicius stated, Everyone must understand that by taking care of our planet, we are not only saving ecosystems but also lives, especially the ones who are the most vulnerable. In particular, the EEA recommended establishing green spaces for the public, decreasing meat consumption, lowering road traffic and taking away fossil fuel subsidies. Our salute and thanks European Environment Agency for this sobering report. In God's guidance, may governments worldwide work to improve the environment so more people may live longer and in good health. Up next on Noteworthy News, large rooftop farm produces fresh vegetables in Canada. We pause for a moment to thank the watch repairers who help to fix, adjust and clean our timepieces with precise skill and care. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more gladdening news. For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn and for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. G'day inquisitive viewers, it's Mikey, the vegan major Mitchell's cockatoo. You are never too old to be vegan. Try a plant-based diet and see how good you'll feel. We're happy to share a tip from beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai. If you feel less appetized eating your vegetables, just add some lemon juice, some soy sauce or Maggi sauce, then it's more enjoyable. You can have this quick fix with other foods such as tofu, vegan steak, vegan ham, vegan sausages, vegan chicken, etc. It's simple, delicious and healthy. God loves you kids. We love you Supreme Master Ching Hai. Thank you for this tasty idea. Much love for being veg and going green to save the planet for all humans and us all co-inhabitants. Thank you for watching and now for the weather around the world.
One of the world's largest rooftop greenhouses opens in Montreal. Luffer Farms, located in Montreal, Canada, has recently opened a 15,000 square meter rooftop greenhouse on top of a warehouse. The plants are pollinated by bumblebees, while ladybugs and wasps assist in keeping the enterprise pesticide free. The vast greenhouse is benefited by energy from the bottom of the building, thus reducing heating costs in the winter. In addition, the enterprise collects and reuses rainwater, resulting in up to 90% of savings compared to conventional farms. The company and local farm partners now produce enough vegetables to feed 20,000 families a week, almost 2% of Montreal's population. Kudos Luffer Farms on your fantastic project. May we see more and more harmonious and productive ways of utilizing space in the inspiration of the providence. Scientists advance understanding on malaria transmission and immunity. 
researchers led by Dr. Sarah Teichman from the Welcome Sanger Institute in the United Kingdom and Dr. Oliver Bilke from Umeå University in Sweden, together with scientists from the National Institutes of Health in the United States, recently completed the first full map of the mosquito's immune system in an effort to end the chain of malaria transmission. Published in the journal Science, the results of the study saw 8,500 individual immune cells and their genes mapped. Researchers discovered a new type of cell called a megacyte which appears to regulate the insect's immune response and transmission of the plasmodium parasite that causes malaria in humans. Way to go, Dr. Sarah Teichman, Dr. Oliver Bilke and co-researchers on your new discovery bringing us closer to ending this serious health concern. May your research along with other efforts lead to effective solutions as we pray for our vulnerable brothers and sisters. Architect designs recyclable cardboard beds for overflowing hospitals in India. Ria Shah, an interdisciplinary designer from Vapi, India, came up with the idea of making affordable, recyclable cardboard beds for COVID-19 patients. While staying in her hometown due to the pandemic, unable to attend her doctoral programme in the Netherlands, Ms. Shah was able to get a prototype of her design quickly produced because her family owns Ariane Paper Group, an industrial paper manufacturing business. The sturdy beds take only a few minutes to set up without any tools, plus they weigh under 11.3 kilograms and can be stacked flat for easy moving and shipping. Furthermore, they are water resistant, so can be cleaned and disinfected. Her proud family's company sells the beds at cost price and has also donated more than 1,200 of them to hospitals in need. Our heartfelt accolades and appreciation for this timely initiative, Ria Shah and the Ariane Paper Group. May heaven bless all such altruistic endeavours multifold. Coming up, online data supports growing interest in veganism globally. We'll spend some time now to enjoy the festive Baltic song and dance tradition, a UNESCO recognised intangible cultural heritage of humanity from Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. We'll be right back with more praiseworthy news here on Supreme Master Television. For more details and free downloads, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash nwn and for full channel listings, suprememastertv.com forward slash worldwide. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, rejuvenating news for a renewed world. Interest in veganism reaches all-time high. A report by culinary site Chef's Pencil showed that the popularity of veganism in 2020 worldwide has doubled over the last five years, according to data taken from Google Trends. Although the COVID-19 pandemic has been a factor, the trend does show no sign of slowing down, as evidenced in countries with traditionally meat and dairy-based cuisine. The countries in 2020 with the most interest in the topic, as measured by Google searches, were the United Kingdom first, then Australia and Israel. We are joyous to hear of the ongoing rapid growth of interest in the vegan diet. Thank you, Chef Spencil, for your research and Google for making your data available to help highlight the good news. May the compassionate and ethical vegan movement continue to grow at an exponential rate so that we may rescue our world in divine grace. Great Dane saves family from fire. A four-year-old Great Dane named Ralph from Shelby County, Alabama, United States, is being lauded as a hero after barking one night at 2.30am alerting his human family to a fire. Mr Walker got up to investigate and found that the flames were advancing quickly. He awoke his wife, Maria Gilbert, and they were able to get their two children, Ralph and a pig companion, out of the smoke-filled home. Sadly, another pig friend named Pearl perished. Mr Walker recalled that the smoke alarms did not go off until later and said, Without Ralph, I don't think we would have made it. He saved our entire family. We join in praise and gratitude for marvellous Ralph, who knew exactly what to do to save his beloved family. May all the Walkers, human and animal, soon recover and have many safe and happy years to together in heaven's blessing. Supreme Master Ching Hai happily present the Shining World Hero Award to Ralph plus 2,000 US dollars for vegan snacks. With love, big hug, and lots of praises, may you and yours be always protected in divine love and grace. 
Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for Hare's compassion and love toward Hare's precious children. Let's de-stress ourselves with a joke of the day entitled Cold Water. Nathan went to visit his 90-year-old grandfather. While eating the breakfast of vegan eggs and vegan bacon prepared for him, he noticed his plate wasn't clean. Grandfather, are these plates clean? Those plates are as clean as cold water can get them. So go on and finish your meal. Later that day, they both went out to get dinner. As Nathan was leaving the house, his grandfather's dog, who was lying on the floor, started to play with Nathan and would not let him pass. The grandfather shouted, Stop that! Cold water! Get out of the way! <laughs> and now we have a hard line from Da Lai Qi Qi Ge in China. 尊敬的无上师电视台团队，我以十分谦敬的心感谢你们，感恩你们在师父带领下，你们日日继业的工作，你们的付出利益了天上人间，你们正在做着一件举世无双、天上地下伟大绝伦的工作。无上师电视台，
Pray for World Vegan in order to rescue our world. Please join Supreme Master Ching Hai to sincerely meditate and or pray for World Vegan in order to rescue our world. Every Sunday at 9 p.m. Hong Kong time. Make uh, an alarm wherever you are, whatever you do. Please stop for some moment to pray for World Vegan. With us, 9 o'clock evening, Hong Kong time. It's been a pleasure to have your company on Noteworthy News. May you be graced with heavenly joy and everlasting harmony. We thank all the reporters, journalists, photographers, camera persons, individuals, groups, companies everywhere in the world for all your contributions of news that bring hope to humans and animals, thus uplifting the atmosphere of our planet. May heaven bless your noble endeavors and protect you always, especially while on challenging duty. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash NWN.